is WWE 2K24 dead? That's a question that you should know the answer to by now. We are already in August and we are one month away from the next DLC pack that seems so far away. September 18th is the official release date for Global Superstars Pack, which include Jade Cargill, Nia Jax, Michelle McCool, Carlito, Kyrie Sane, Lyra Valkyria, and Dragon Lee. Is that enough to hold you over till the next WCW Pack? We haven't seen any new updates. We saw the Pat McAfee Show Pack come out with a massive failure. It was terrible. At launch, people were struggling to download it on PC, on PlayStation 5. It was a disaster for a pack that everyone already hated. A pack that no one really wanted. And on top of that, we haven't heard or seen any other update since. And that led me to this question. Is WWE 2K24 really dead? It's incredible that they haven't really been supporting the game as much as I hoped for this time around, despite the recent reveal that it's been a profitable game. And I know why. Well, a lot of people have bought into my faction this year more than in the past because of the Persona cards. I've enjoyed my faction lightly. I thought it was better last year, honestly. Now, how can we go forward into 2K25 with higher expectations when 24 brought new matches but we felt like it wasn't enough it wasn't long lasting and that's been the problem with these newer games where i've had to go back and play games like 2k18 14 so on and so forth it's not that these older games are much better it's just that the experience is different with the roster and the universe mode being more playable in 2k24 the universe mode is kind of flatlining for me we have so many bugs to work around you know the the community creations as great of a concept as it is what's the point of having that feature if we can't even utilize it to its full potential having to add hair back having to delete and reinstall and do all this work around just to have it functioning and ultimately your match card gets deleted at times and then don't even get me started with the online multiplayer. Now, I know I sound like I'm being a negative Nancy right now. I don't think this is the end of 2K games. 2K25 will be successful and it will be better than 2K24. I feel like they've at least earned that badge of honor. Where 2K22 was better than 20, 23 was better than 22, and 24 was better than 23. But that's not enough at this point. And I don't think that, you know, canceling PS4 and Xbox One out of the equation is going to ultimately fix this game for me. I see myself, you know, disliking universe mode as much as I did back then because I felt like it was, yeah, a sandbox mode, but a mode that you have to use more of your imagination than there is to do in the actual mode itself. And that is a problem. I would rather have a season mode where you actually play with one superstar and enjoy walking backstage, interacting with interviews and GMs, setting up your matches like I used to back in PS2. How can a game from the PlayStation 2 era have a feature that we should have seen return long ago? And I've seen the interviews. It's not that these guys are lazy. It's not, you know, any of that negative nonsense that I've seen others talk about. I don't think lazy is the right word to describe the issue behind the scenes. I honestly think that they are just trying to capitalize on the hot hand that has been WWE as of late and the progress that they've made with the game. And they've been focusing on just quality of life tweaks which was a big word going into 24 but that quality of life just didn't feel as long lasting as i thought it would maybe that's on me for having those expectations maybe that's on you for having those expectations 
But are we really the ones to blame when we're the ones that are actually logging in to play the game just about every day? Now, I've been on stream debating and arguing back and forth because there is two sides to all these stories, right? I feel like ultimately, if you've spent more than what, five, four days of playing time, endless hours on this game, you definitely got your money's worth. I don't think we're arguing about the money that we squeeze out of this game. I feel like the 70 or $100, even $120 that you pumped into this game to start it off, you're getting your value for sure. That's not what I'm talking about in this video or in any of my streams. I ultimately feel like the bar needs to ultimately rise a little higher than just baby steps at this point. Graphically, the game is as good as it's gonna get for a while. The engine that they're running this game on is just not gonna rival what you saw in Call of Duty with their WWE crossover. That's just a fact of life, like LA Knight says. That's the reality of it. And that has nothing to do with exiting out Xbox One and PS4. Because it's just an engine that they are building this game on. Look at it with NBA 2K24. It looks good, but it's a different kind of good. And that's not a bad thing. Graphically, the game is solid, man. It's a strong looking game. Look at all the other wrestling games that are being made now for the future. Or look at AEW Fight Forever. As good as it looked, it was still more along the lines of like Fortnite, which a lot of people didn't even want in the first place, apparently. So know your audience. The graphics, we don't need to push the envelope there. They pushed it a good amount. But at the end of the day, the gameplay, people have been wanting chain wrestling over and over. Everyone just keeps talking about it. Lex, I wish we had chain wrestling. I miss the old days when we were playing like 2K16 or 2K14, 2K, what? And I'm just like, damn, you guys really enjoyed chain wrestling. And a lot of people are saying, yes, the game nowadays feels like a fighter versus wrestling. And I get that. It's true. You got combo breakers. You got combos that you got to kind of learn to maximize the wrestler you're utilizing. So I see the point of the fandom. I get what the community is saying. But at the end of the day, once you've played my rise, once you look at that, look at that glitch right there, the clipping, which is it's cool. It's fine. It's not a big deal for me. But once you've played these modes, universe mode, <clears throat> very limited, man, very limited. I know Lionel Jinx said, had said that this was going to be a dark horse and we were supposed to, you know, implement, you know, um, the, these cutscene triggers and there just hasn't been enough, man. There just hasn't been enough. They said, oh, yeah, we built this new engine on the Myri stuff and we're carrying over a lot of the Myri animations into universe mode where you're going to get to see stories unravel. Maybe it's because I'm not simulating enough. Maybe because I'm not spending like a hundred hours to see every single animations on each mode. And I usually get bored and restart universe mode, creating arenas and changing it up to the attitude era. Sometimes even maybe I'm just not doing it enough. I don't know. You guys let me know down below, but ultimately I just feel like, damn, this can't be it because I myself still have my rights to enjoy, but my faction they got it that, that that mode in particular with the team they got behind that mode man y'all gotta do better i'm sorry there's just the card collecting there's no real reason to card collect outside of having the personas that carry over into other game modes um you know you, you need to give me more than what you've done so far look at you know these other sports titles and how they've been doing it and try to apply it in some fashion like that and online man online needs to get scrapped and start from ground zero it has been a shit show. I hate the online in these WWE games. Not only is the server unreliable, but not being able to defend titles or earn titles online or create a franchise level league, which is kind of playing like a universe or a season mode, if you will, with your friends, I think is ridiculous. The, the limitations online are just, that's what I'm bothered about. And if that's because of Xbox One and PS4, then I totally get why people would want to scrap the, you know, the previous generation. But 
We don't know the technicality of that, and I'd rather not talk out of my ass. Ultimately, for me personally, if they were able, if they were able to give us a new universe mode, scrap universe mode, give us franchise mode, give us, you know, what my GM is essentially, but more of that sandbox, less restrictions element with tons and tons of cutscenes. My goodness, we've had 22, 23, and now 24 going into 25. Where are the new cutscenes on top of cutscenes on top of cutscenes? Why do I keep seeing the same animations triggered? Like the guy coming through the crowd. Yeah, that was a nice surprise when I witnessed it, but it happened again. And it lost that, you know, that spark of joy. What's going on? I, I, it, you know, is it really a coding issue? Because that's what they said that they, they, they couldn't do create a story because of the coding and because of the, the team that they have. They just don't know how to do it. It's just lack of resources, lack of, lack of knowledge. Why you're an outside team? I don't know what you have to do, but ultimately this game is scratching the surface of being, you know, really, really great. And when it launched, I said that this was one of the best, if not the best WWE game in a long time. And it eclipsed the one, the ones that, you know, came out previously. And I still stand by that. I still do. But we're in August, you know, the lack of updates throughout the year has really irked me. The, the, you know, the, the transparency has been terrible. It's almost like they've been tone deaf and it's just feeling like it, they're running out of gas from my point of view. Now, when you're looking at it as an executive, most profitable year, they're dropping 2K25 before the fiscal year ends. Everything is looking good. The partnership is as strong as ever with WWE. Business is booming. I get it. From that end, great. Thumbs up. But I don't care about that. And to me, that's not really a, a conversation uh, piece there's there's no point in, in talking about that because for me it's more about you know how can i enjoy this game during the summer the first two months epic awesome great and i've said this before on stream so i don't want to be a hypocrite i've told people man if you've played this game extensively and you have days and days and days of playing time endless hours Obviously, you've exhausted all the resources, all the modes that there is to enjoy in this game. You got to play another game. You got to pick up and play another game. And I honestly do often see myself doing that. I do. And I come back usually when I'm trying to do something for a stream or a video where I'm playing universe mode or tweaking certain things after an update. But there just hasn't been enough of any of that. I used to run LWF. You guys saw me promoting that for a while. What happened to that league? How did it die? Well, it died because the online space is just terrible. And it made running the league super unfun. And I know that there's still other leagues out there. But for me, I need to be able to have fun to put on a show. I can't just do it for the sake of doing it. I need to have people that are enjoying themselves. And a lot of people were dropping out. A lot of people uh, refused to participate at times because it was just that bad. Now I know there were some others that were willing to put up through the bullshit, but that's not the case with everyone. And that's why I wish they cared just a little bit about the online stuff and focused a little less on the my faction cash grab stuff because if you're telling me hey we're focusing on my faction because we want to make my faction great we want to give you a reason to play more than just these timed events online versus other users that all they do is cheese because let's face it there's not that many people playing my faction online everyone plays that shit offline and it's really just to get the persona cards and maybe there are some card collectors out there that enjoy that digital experience but tie it into super cards do something epic do something different what are we doing out here 2k let's be better and let's do better i'm gonna you know continue this series of videos probably drop it once a week when i come up with things that i could see realistically implemented into 2k25 and beyond going forward because we're going to be here for a while with the 2K Games uh, team. And I don't have a problem with them at all, honestly. The, the, the EA talk or the THQ talk or the all that baloney. I've been playing these games long enough to know when we've been playing a consistent, strong, you know, enjoyable experience. And this has been that. So, again, 
even though I focused on the negative stuff for the most part in this segment, in my next one, I probably won't do it as much because there is a lot of good within the game that they've been releasing. How do you guys feel about it though? Let me know in the comment section if you made it this far into the video. Damn it, subscribe if you're a wrestling fan. We cover all elements of wrestling with watch alongs, gaming videos, review streams, debates for AEW, WWE, TNA. We talk about wrestling on here. This is where wrestling lives, and I hope to see you guys on the next one. Thank you for tuning in. Peace. Man, they got me going back to 2K18. My goodness.